Let me introduce an application which was developed by our partner Strelan Control Systems and is aimed at counting the number of people that are entering and leaving a building. Controlling the number of people in a building can be necessary for many reasons, as the COVID-19 pandemic has shown. The goal of this application is to be able to precisely indicate the amount of people present in a building in real time. Based on this, entry restrictions can be put in place once the maximum permitted quantity is reached. There were a number of challenges that needed to be tackled. For example, the system had to deal with people pushing shopping carts and people wearing headgear. Also, no face recognition was allowed due to data privacy reasons. Another challenge was persons moving in different directions at the same time and also dogs entering the building. The system also had to deal with people accompanied by children. Before implementing the system with our Halkin software, different solutions had been utilized, such as using additional personnel. However, this proved to be expensive on a long-term basis and miscounting errors occurred. In the system developed by Strelin, Halkin is used to detect and isolate persons in a depth image. For this purpose, real-time depth images are first acquired with a stereo camera from above, which you can see here. After some pre-processing, interconnected height profiles are identified and analyzed. Using the mathematical morphological algorithms integrated in Halkin, pixel clusters are segmented and individual persons are recognized based on their characteristic appearance on the depth image. Using a tracking method, the found persons are assigned waypoints spanning several images to create a path that represents their movements. The path is shown in green on the slide. Finally, these paths are successfully used to increase or decrease the number of persons present in the building in real time. Now, some of you might think that this task could have only been solved with the help of Halkin's deep learning capacities. However, with this use case, we wanted to prove that it's also feasible with traditional methods in Halkin, and it is fast and reliable.